Hello, I'm Super Orange Cat here today with some Tanami breaking news. Well, breaking as of a few hours ago. And here's the announcement is that fact that Tanami will have My Hero Academia Season 6 on the block starting this Saturday. So five, da five days from now, Saturday, December 3rd. And the lineup is as follows at midnight My Hero Academia Season 6, 12 30, Main Abyss, 1 a.m., Yashahime, 1 30, One Piece, 2 a.m., Naruto Shippuden, and 2 30, Primal. Now, what makes this interesting is that with this announcement, the argument can be made that there's five TV debuts here for Tanami. People argue back and forth about whether One Piece and Naruto Shippuden should count, and I don't want to get into the nitty-gritty in that, but for certain, certainly at least three new premieres at the front of the block. This is the first time the majority of the shows have been a premiere in the greatest, greater part of a year, really, here for Tanami. And also, I don't think it can be understated how big an announcement this is in terms of just getting this show 2022 has been the year of disappointment in terms of outside signing if you take out the tanami originals that aired this year you were left with like what the two seasons of may and abyss you can argue attack on titan but attack on titan was part of a contract drafted or signed years ago very one-sided favoring adult swim contract really which is going to really suck because early next year when Attack on Titan's final episodes actually get to air, maybe there's a part four at this rate, because I think parts two and three surprise people when they announce it. Oh, we're not going to do it all in one take. We're just going to spread out the episodes. Tanami will 1000% certainly get that because of the contract that was drafted like eight or so long time ago, eight or so years ago, that gives Tanami first English dub airing rights over... The omnibus monster that is now Crunchyroll, Funimation, basically Sony. That whole big monster right now. And again, it's big because My Hero Academia Season 6 had to come with a big pricey price tag here. Some people said, oh, maybe there is previous contract language that made it cheaper for Tanami." I don't think so. Especially if as year to year, season to season, Tanami had to get the season separately. Unlike Attack on Titan, where they got, oh, the full rights to the entire show right off the bat. They had to do season to season on My Hero Academia. And as My Hero Academia grew in popularity, I am certain the price tag for the dubbing rights, or not the dubbing rights, but the rights to the English dub, probably got much more expensive too. And even though one could make the argument My Hero Academia's fandom size of popularity is on the downswing, I still imagine it's a very pretty price tag that would have to pay. So basically, Adult Swim slash Tanami probably got Warner's Brothers Discovery, got down on their knees, maybe did a couple things that I can't mention on YouTube or whatever, and they're able to find the way or find the money to get this season. And that's what I expect here. That's why I believe happened. I can't imagine any weird sweetheart deal took place, especially with it being Crunchyroll. I, I can't imagine that. There's no love lost between Tanami and Crunchyroll at this point, so I can't imagine it was easy. However, one thing I like to note was this past Saturday was a marathon of the final six episodes of season five. I think this is them choreographing the fact that last week they probably already got the rights. So this wasn't something they just did earlier, inked, put ink to paper on today. The fact they did that marathon this Saturday, they had to be 1000% certain they had this. So I bet this is something they wanted to wait until like a full non-holiday week to announce. So that's why they announced it today instead of probably early that last week because again, it gets drowned out with Thanksgiving. And again, it's like a popular trend if there's bad news. And this is definitely good news, so this doesn't apply. If there's bad news you want to bury in a release cycle, you put it right at the end of the week. So commonly like Friday afternoon. So people forget about it over the weekend. Again, if you announced this, say, Tuesday or Wednesday last week, people will forget about it because Thanksgiving and they have other things to deal with, so they're not thinking about these news. So they did the inverse in that and waited until Monday, where there's no holidays that I'm aware of this week, and just announced it now so they can actually hit the cycle with news cycle, what anime, Tanami news cycle there is, mostly really just me, I guess, to talk about it. And to really praise it as it really should. And this kind of dovetails into 
every year I make a list of the top five best and the top five worst things about Nami of the year. And I've already started kind of crafting that list. I've at least listing things that are good and bad that happened this year. And what I thought was interesting, this is a little bit of a spoiler for the best of list. Most of the things I came up with were what shows they were able to get this year. Mostly because there were a precious few. So it feels more precious when they get one. And I would have to consider this to be really up there because, again, My Hero Academia is a massive name. One of the biggest anime titles of the 2010s. It definitely, see, it definitely deserves its uh, commendation. It definitely, it definitely deserves praise for this announcement. A rare, really, honestly, really rare bout of good news for Tanami this year. I've come up with more things that are good than bad, but the things that were bad about Tanami this year were much larger and much more important and much more all-encompassing than good news. So it's going to be one of those weird things. I know, I'm, I'm pitching something of uh, videos I'm going to release probably a couple weeks from now, but again, it's just something to kind of take note of in a way because again the good news this year have been the times we get these announcements and again this might be the biggest of those announcements because we haven't had a title like my hair academia other like only like remotely bigger titles we've not even bigger big titles we had were yashahime because of its connection in yuyasha and then made abyss arguably because it's kind of had its cult following it's kind of snuck in there it's gotten high critical praise and the fact that we also got two new seasons of it this year as people forget we got it way back when and i guess like assassination classroom too but i digress good news there for tanami what do you guys think leave your comments leave your opinions down below i am the super orange cat and that is all